Hello everyone and welcome to the first installment of the tarot card series. In this video I'll be doing the card for strength. Now if you know anything about tarot, or you have read the title card, then you know that strength is number 8. And you might be thinking, why start off with 8? But I have decided to not go in a numerological sequence uh, so that I won't have cards that I'm not really happy about. This way I just pick whichever one I feel the strongest connection with at that moment. And right now that is strength, as in the strength to actually start making the tarot cards. I have done a lot of sketches for some other cards as well but I haven't really felt the strength to start making the actual cards up until now. I'm doing this basic layout with a banner at the bottom that says the name of the card and some flowers at the top which are in some way associated with the card. I chose these flowers based on different uh, sources on the internet so it might as well be arbitrary, since every source says something different. But I just really wanted ornamental flowers. For this card I chose the dandelion, since it symbolizes surviving through all challenges and difficulties. Which I think is very appropriate for a flower that basically grows anywhere. With the sketches for the banner and the header done, I tape off the sides with some washi tape to keep a blank border around the artwork itself. Traditionally, this card depicts a woman taming a lion. In my designs, I don't want to stray too far from the original designs as long as I agree with the symbolism in the card. So here it's pretty simple, again, a woman with a lion. But there are some other cards where I completely deviated from the original designs. In this card, the lion symbolizes the raw power and strength and passion, where the woman is taming it. Where in my design, I opted to have her more embrace it showing how there is strength in tenderness. Other than that, there's not really much thought behind this design. I think it's important for a successful tarot card design that the reader can intuitively interpret the meaning of the card itself uh, therefore, I think it's important to keep it quite simplistic and not add too many symbols and stuff. So here I'm just keeping it with the woman and the lion and not add flowers and the infinity sign as the original tarot card would have had. Which I think are also very unnecessary and don't really have that much to do with strength. For the writing on the banner I first wrote the word strength in my sketchbook because I'm very dyslexic and I don't want to mess it up on the card. Especially since I'll be painting this with watercolor and watercolor doesn't do that well on areas that have been erased too many times. Since erasing uh, damages the surface of the paper and that really shows when you put your watercolor on top of it. Now you do see me using a kneaded eraser to pick up all the excess graphite. This doesn't damage your paper surface because it you don't rub it off. If you don't do this, the excess graphite will dissolve into your watercolor or your ink, uh, which uh, desaturates the color of your uh, ink or watercolor. 
Now I first put in my values with a very diluted black uh, ink. This is actually a technique that I've never used before, but I've seen uh, Cosmic Spectrum do it, and I really, really like her work. So here I'm basically just making a grayscale version of the card first, before I add the color. This ensures that the values of the artwork make sense. That's really helpful for this one, because my color scheme will be mainly yellow, orange, green, which is really tricky to get the values right. By the way, I really apologize for the poor quality in this part of the video. I'm still a baby YouTuber, so I don't have all the fancy lights and stuff, so I'm kind of dependent on lights from outside, and the weather has been really, really bad lately here. I thought it wouldn't be such a big deal, because let's fix it in post, but apparently it doesn't work that way and the quality just goes down. I did turn up the brightness though. Because the original footage was really, really dark. Before going in with my watercolors, I made sure to scan it in, in case anything goes wrong. Or in case I end up completely hating it with color. I first add flat layers of color on top of my shading before I start messing around with hues and saturation. So after my flat layer of yellow, I went in with a warmer yellow. This is the ASO yellow medium. Uh, the previous one was lemon yellow. And the green I used is sap green. The palette I use is by Van Gogh. Yes, that's really how you pronounce it. And I absolutely love these watercolors. I keep building up the color on the line with some more yellow ochre and burnt sienna to give it more depth and a more realistic color. I prefer to mix my colors in this way by layering them on top of each other, but you can also just mix them in the little pens that come with the palette, uh, which I do for skin colors and that kind of stuff. Now that I don't have much technical stuff to say anymore, I can ramble on some about uh, the subject matter, because I have to say that I'm not a very superstitious person and I definitely don't believe in fortune telling. Yet here I am designing a tarot deck. Now, because I don't believe in fortune telling, that doesn't mean that I don't believe in tarot. I think that each card has a meaning that can always be applied to wherever you are in your life, but it's more a matter of interpretation and introspection. So, in a way, I actually think that the cards are a way of connecting to your own thoughts and understanding them better. And with that, it's actually quite a powerful tool. So you don't actually rely on the power of the card that you pull, uh, but it reminds you yourself of the meaning that's on the card that's already within yourself. As for example, how I said at the beginning of this video that I found the strength to actually start this. So the card that goes with that is strength, that stands for courage and willpower and inner strength. Actually, I'll just read you the meaning of the strength card, because that's probably better than explaining it myself. The strength card represents strength, determination and power. 
The strength card speaks to the inner strength and the human spirit's ability to overcome any obstacle. Strength is about knowing you can endure life's obstacles. You have great stamina and persistence, balanced with underlying patience and inner calm. You are committed to what you need to do. And you go about it in a way that shows your composure and maturity. When the strength tarot card appears in a reading, you are fueled by the inner strength, personal power, strong will and determination. You do not rule by trying to control others. You quietly influence and persuade. Others may underestimate your power because it's so invisible, but you should see that as an advantage. You can control a situation without excessive outward force. No one knows it's you calling the shots. Now if that doesn't sound fake and ambiguous... But that's exactly the beauty of it. As soon as you apply it to your situation, it always works, and it will always give you more insight. And that's why it's so powerful, and why someone who can really read people well can quote-unquote predict the future. Now that's enough digression. I ink my lettering with uh, a golden ink from Winsor & Newton because I really wanted to try it out. It's a new one. And I think it's beautiful, but not too obnoxiously metallic. And I also use this to line around the flowers and the banner at the bottom. But I was afraid that if I would line the whole painting with this gold it would be too much I also didn't want to line it with black because that would be a too stark contrast with the light soft browns greens yellows of the painting so I struggled with that decision for quite a bit trying to mix an ink that would work color wise but I just couldn't make one. I even did try just using a pure yellow but I, I didn't like that either so eventually I was like screw it I'm just getting a brown pencil and that worked pretty well. And I'm really glad that I didn't drop the line art altogether because it really needed that just that little bit more definition and I'm really happy with the end result actually. And it's done! Thank you so much for watching! Please leave a like, subscribe and share with another friend. Bye! See you next time!